as the NYPD was searching for the suspect in the subway shooting yesterday. There were more than a dozen shootings in the city last night, and not to mention the shootings that we've seen recently of young, innocent people, some older as well, being shot on the streets of New York. How do you get a handle on this crime in the city, Mr. Mayor? By being consistent with our message. Uh, here's my question that I put out to the city. Hey, I thought Black Lives Matter. Where are all those who stated Black Lives Matter? Then go do an analysis of who was killed or shot last night. I was up all night speaking to my commanders in the Bronx, in Brooklyn. The victims were Black. Many of the shooters were Black. So I asked the question that was asking me when I was a child. It's 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Why are 16, 17, and 18-year-olds out in our streets armed with guns 12, 1 o'clock at night? When are we going to start asking these serious questions? If Black Lives Matter, then the thousands of people I saw on the street when Floyd was murdered should be on the street right now say, stating that the lives of these Black children that are dying every night matters. We can't I, be hypocrites. Well, let me tell you where they are, uh, Eric Mayor, a Eric Adams of New York City. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Black Lives Matter only comes out when a racist white cop kills kills an unarmed black person. So that's what be that. So that's what Black Lives Matter is. And here's the thing, man. Eric Adams is is, is just as stupid as the last governor. Pro as, I'm sorry, not, not the last governor, the last mayor, because. Apparently, Eric Adams got a reality check that apparently all Black Lives Matter doesn't matter to this organization. And then you had some, some people talk some some people talk about well, well, this organization is not for all Black lives. You know, it's you know it's only for the Black lives that's killed by uh, police brutality. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? It says Black Lives Matter. Do we need to do we need to add in the all Black Lives Matter in order to? for people to get this message that some that some black lives does not matter to this organization because apparently when people found out that this guy that this guy right here was the main was the main culprit for that for that shooting in that in that subway station a lot of people went quiet after this because they first assumed that it was just some crazy some crazy white dude with with, with, with some uh mental disorders so having a mental illness that, that just went in that subway and, and just shot all those people. But apparently it was a old black guy that was apparently a black extremist. So Frank James. Yeah, they thought that this guy, that this guy, Frank James, was just an, another crazy white dude. But when it, when, it, when news came out that it was a black guy, CNN, MSCBC, uh, all these all these freaking left wing news stations, they went quiet as hell. You, they, they barely gave this story a brief, a brief showing because, oh look at that, Frank James, no, nah, it was a black dude, so that automatically kills our narrative, and then to make to make it a lot worse, they they feel like you know, not showing this story, it it actually hurts, it uh, helps out the black community, which it doesn't, it, it actually. They actually damages it because if you are showing that not that even black that even uh, certain black people. Are you know are batch uh, batch crazy? You are not helping them out because this is actually shielding some problems in in, in a black community. Because you can't just take you can't just see this guy's face and find out that, that he was the one that that that, sh that shot up that subway and feel like yeah um we can't show we can't show the story because he's black. So when Eric Adams found found out found this out, it was like. Where's, where's Black Lives Matter in this in this whole situation? Because Black Lives only matter when a racist white cop 
kills kills another, another black person. But no, if it if, if it's you know black on black violence, if it's a if it's gay, if it's uh crips versus bloods or or, or or any kind of gang that's that's predominantly black, they like the, if they end up killing another black person, they life do, does not matter because this saying it that Black Lives Matter only matters to when a a white cop and a, and a black person. And here's the thing, man. There's still police brutality going on. Apparently, new uh, mainstream media do, doesn't talk about it because Joe Biden's in office. So they so they have to shield every story that involves a police shooting, a uh, unjustified police shooting. Because the fact that they are shooting a, some stories out here that 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 pertains to to some encounters with with, with, with black with uh, police brutality, it just goes to show like. They don't actually they don't actually care about a certain group of people as long as it doesn't fit the narrative. This this is how mainstream media is, and th this is why places like uh, CNN and MSNBC is dying because they because they refuse to show like some actual stories. They rather just show videos of people praising Joe Biden like he's like he's this goddamn messiah, and it's just it just baffles me how we are at that point where mainstream media thinks that if they if they shield off every story that. Have, that pertains to a black person commit, uh, committed a serious crime, they think it helps them out. But, that, but at, in actuality, it damages because it just shows like they think that holding the hands of black people is going to be better. Even though a lot of black people said we do, that the media is the biggest enemy of the people, such as myself. But then you have some 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 other uh, other bitches out here that talk that talks about this. Regards of, of, of how you feel about them, whether it be Brandon Tatum, the Black Conservative perspective, um, young, young Ripper, Ruin Leon, it, do, it does not matter if they if they say something about this, they are obviously cooning for the for the white man, and so, and they are just pretty much and they are just telling you the gist of the story that mainstream media won't, and that is the problem with with uh, this you know this community nowadays. You can't criticize black people about what they do because if you do, you're a bigot. Your Uncle Tom, your black, your black white supremacist like like Joe Reed called freaking Le Levy Yelda in California because this whole sentiment of protecting the black image it does not help, especially if you have some crazy people like, you know Frank James out out there shooting up subways. And then it's not to, not 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 to mention the fact that pe people are still spraying out this whole. Kyle Rittenhouse thing that Kyle Rittenhouse shot and killed three black people when, when all those people that, that he shot and killed in self-defense was white. This is this is what we at in, are in mainstream media nowadays because you cannot criticize or if you try to criticize, you a bigot. If you try to show him like what actually happened or who this certain this certain uh, person actually killed, you're a racist. You cannot speak out against the mainstream narrative, even though. And they, these same mainstream people try to criticize us from MSNBC, Young Turks, the freaking uh, CNN, and f to a lot of these other freaking left uh, left wing mainstream media outlets from ABC and CBS. They the ones who, 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 who try to suppress, you know, the voices like yours truly and among other uh, independent guys on this platform. They try to tell to try to tell you the gist of the story, and it's not. It's not what what it seems, but they try to push a narrative to, to try to try to keep you mad and and, mis and misinformed. But hey, what well, I know, Merrick, hey Eric Adams, he's 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 also an idiot, but at least he's he's uh, he actually realized that all black lives don't matter to uh, to this organization. Like I said in my previous video, a free they using that money to buy mansions, not actually help out disenfranchised black communities, because. If you do that, then how how are they how are they gonna gonna get their money? How are they gonna use the deaths of black people in order to gain money? Answer that one, people. But I just want opinion here, guys. If you guys like like I'm saying, like I'm subscribed, share the video, hit the notification bell. I will see y'all next one. Peace.